In this video, I'll show you how to transfer a WordPress site from localhost to web hosting. The best part is that you only need one plugin and we will get it done in three easy steps. A bit like this guy. Eins, zwei, drei. Tape sweat punch. <laughs> Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'm your website guy. Now for this video, I'll be using local WP as my localhost software but it doesn't matter what you use since we will be working only inside WordPress. So step one is to install a migration plugin on your local WordPress. All right, let's get started. So this is my localhost website. Basically, you can see here at the top, you have the .local. I want to move this local copy to the live site. So first step is to go to your plugins and then add new. And in the search box, just type in all in one with the dashes between them and you can see this all in one wp migration that's what we need let's install it now and once it's done don't forget to activate it arnie how do you activate stuff activated the second step is to export and download a migration file from the plugin and once it's active here on the left, I have a lot of different menus here, but you can see you have all-in-one WP migration. In our case, we're going to export the local to live. So we're going to click on the export. And on this page, if you scroll down, you can choose where to export. But before pressing that, you have this advanced options. And here's some options if, if you don't want to export this. So in my case, I don't want to export any of the spam comments post revisions I want to keep. I don't need my media library just because I haven't updated any images. So I haven't added any images. So I don't mind if they're not there because that's where I keep my secrets. Ivan Drago. Ivan, why you I want to export themes. So I'm going to keep it because that's the biggest difference uh, that I had between my website. Then you have some plugins, export plugins. I'm gonna keep both of these. I wanna export also database because they're all the changes. If you change any copy or any text on your site, that means it's in the database, so you wanna keep it. So the rest I'll keep it as is. So I'm just gonna remove those two. And now if I click on file, you'll see it'll start exporting. And this will take a few minutes depending on the size of your website. Hey. If you liked the video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. All right. And once it's done, you can just click on this button here. You can see my, my website is quite big. It's uh, almost 700 megabytes. Just click on the download button and save the file on your computer. You can see here at the top that it started downloading. And you can close the pop-up right now. Oh, really? The third step is to install the same migration plugin on your live site. So let me switch to my live site. Here's the WordPress dashboard of the live site. The easiest way to tell them apart is here in the URL. You can see that I have .com here. Next, we are going to install the same migration plugin here as well. So let's do that. Just go to plugins, add new. And same drill in the search box, just all in one. And then the first one option here, let's install now. And don't forget to activate it once it's installed. Before we go on with the migration, we need to back up our live site. Here you go on the left. You have the menu items here. And in this case, we are going to actually back this up. So I'm going to select backup. So I want to back up my live site before I do anything, just in case I need to bring it back. I have other backups already from my backup tool, but just in case I want to also back up from this, because if something goes wrong, you'll end up like this. So here, there's not much you can say, but here you can see create a backup I'm going to click on it. And again, it's going to take a bit of time because my site is pretty big. If you're looking to learn more about your, how to improve your website, 
get more traffic, and just in general website related stuff, consider hitting the subscribe button, especially if you're new here. And once it's done, you'll be able to download the file. If I click on it, it will just ask me to save this file on my computer. And you can see it started downloading here. And you can already close this because it's going to still keep downloading. So once it's done, just double check that the file is on your server. So I, I can see that I have the file here downloaded. And that's great. And don't worry, your computer won't end up like this. The last step is to basically now upload the file from local to this uh, live site. So again, you can go here on the left, all in one WP migration, and I'm going to select import. And here you can select the file from here. The thing is, I don't know if you noticed, but my file is much bigger than 64 megabytes. And that's probably going to be also the case for you. And luckily you can adjust this but it depends on your hosting provider you can click on this link here they also help you how to actually do it but in general you need to increase it so i'll show you in a second how to do it so basically you need to head to your cpanel right now and if you're on managed wordpress hosting you might not have cpanel in that case you probably need to contact your web hosting and ask them to increase this so this is my cPanel dashboard in HostPapa. Pretty much all web hosts use cPanel, so it's more or less the same process. So just go to the search bar here and type in PHP version. You should see something like this. You need to find the PHP versioning. Or then just Google your web hosting name and how to increase maximum upload size. And you're probably thinking, Robert, you come back for making me do stuff by myself. And here you have options. And if you scroll down, you have the max size. I have 64 right now. I'm gonna increase it to one gigabyte like this. And upload size, both size and upload size for now. And I'm gonna just in case increase memory as well, everything to one gigabyte, the maximum. And you can see here, on host papa you don't need to click on save button it just saves it directly so now if i come to the import page and refresh it you can see here that the maximum upload file size is now one gigabyte that's great because now i can import my local website to my live site so i'm going to select from here file just making sure i have the file here yeah sponge out local yeah that's the correct one and I'm gonna upload it. And this will take a bit of time, so just be patient again with this. And once you're done, you'll see a pop-up like this, again, reminding you that you need to have a backup. It's important that you have it because these things go wrong time to time. So you click on proceed. Again, it'll load for some time and it's gonna now import everything onto your website. So this will take a bit of time. Once your data is imported, you will see a pop-up like this. Just click on permalink settings link. It will open up a new window and it will ask you to log into WordPress again. And you just use your logins that you had from before. So whatever was on your local. And once you log in, it will take you to permalink settings page. All you have to do here is to save this page twice. Don't ask me why, but it somehow helps to make sure all links are up to date. Just click on save. And then the second time. So now if you open up a new window and go to your site, you should see the new site live. Awesome, right? Here's my homepage. And if you go into an article, it's all there. Now, everything should be migrated and you can do whatever you need to do here with the, your live site. Just remember to switch back the max upload size settings back to smaller amount. It's just mostly for security reasons. Since you just uploaded your new website to the live server, you need to know that your website passes the technical SEO audit. Here's a video that will show you 
three tools that will do a technical SEO audit for you. It appears somewhere here. So you know everything is optimized for your SEO. And while at it, you should also verify your site with Google so you can rank quicker on Google search. More about that in the second video right here. Whoosh!